okay so today uh, today we shall be developing impulse response function under vector autoregressive environment so that is our task and suppose we have two endogenous variable one is consumption and money so I am opening both the variables as a group so this is the our data consumption and money the data start from 1981 month 1 so this one is the monthly data from 1981 to I'm going down gradually so going down gradually you can see the data is ended in the year of 2009 monthly data so and we shall be developing the impulse response function under vector autoregressive environment or var model okay what I do how to develop the var model I click on the quick then estimate var okay and I put the endogenous variables such as money here money means money supply then consumption okay. so these are my two endogenous variables and suppose I choose 8 lakhs there are total 8 lakhs and this one is the our sample period from 1981 to 2009 sample period and here the var type actually var is two type one is unrestricted var and the second one we call it restricted var so vector error correction model actually called restricted var so suppose our two variables such as money supply and consumption both are co-integrated both are co-integrated by one one error term or one co-integrating equation suppose we assume that we need one co-integrating equation to make the system equilibrium so there is one co-integrating equation so I go to VAR sorry VCM which is called restricted VAR I choose this one right and I have taken eight variables and co-integration co how many it is already one so we are happy about it and here I choose 3 which is already given so now we can run the vector error correction model having one co-integrating equation okay then I press ok so this one is the vector error correction estimate and this one is the one co-integrating equations and th this is my models are coming up this is the dependent variable right money supply and consumption and we have chosen 8 lakhs all lakhs are here right all lakhs are coming up so this one is my vector error correction models okay. and we assume that 
this model has fulfilled all the assumptions of the reg reg regression line meaning that this VECA model uh, there is no CDL correlation and the residuals are normally distributed and so on so this model suppose perfect then we can run the impulse response functions provided the model is all right statistically then we can check the impulse response function so here is the icon you can see right I click here in the icon okay then you can see impulses and re responses so it is like this and periods suppose I choose eight periods eight periods in the future or I can call it eight months because our data are in monthly suppose I choose eight but of course we can choose uh, we can choose more than eight but suppose I choose eight eight into the future eight month into the future because our data is monthly and this is the impulses and this is the responses so that means uh, that means impulses means uh, 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 which will give a shock which will give a shock and responses means how this variable will be reacting when there is a shock from money supply and consumption okay here how to ordering the variables that is a very important thing how to ordering variables there are many ways you can order variables such as you click here impulse definition you can see there are many ways right many ways many options are here out of many option I choose Cholesky DOF adjusted but you can choose other method also but I choose here Cholesky DOF adjusted right to set my ordering of variables then I uh, uh, here you can see you can user specified you can also set e your own ordering that is also possible it is also possible uh, you can set the ordering but uh, but uh, I have chosen this one Cholesky DOF adjusted okay then I press ok so this is the outcome of the results right you can see from here the outcome of the whole things right so uh, response to Cholesky one standard deviation innovation here innovation means actually res uh, uh, residuals or impulses or shock right that is called innovation innovation can be error term also okay so first I talk about this two then I talk about this two okay so this line means uh, this line means zero so when I go up that is positive and when I go below of it that is negative and here I have chosen you see eight months eight months into the future that is uh, the things okay here I'm saying response of money to money that means 
what is the reaction of money to money what does it mean it means that if I give a shock of one standard deviation to money supply I'm telling again if I give a shock positive shock of one standard deviation to money supply how the money supply will be reacting that means money supply reacting to to its own right it is reacting to its own how you can see the blue line so blue line is the reaction so reaction is it is gradually going down going down going down and eventually become zero but not negative that means after eight months it becomes zero that means reaction becomes zero after eight, eight months okay but here response of money to consumption meaning that if I give one standard deviation shock positive shock to consumption money supply will go down you can see from here money supply will go down if I give one standard deviation shock positive shock money supply will go down you see okay or or or, or you can say into future until eight months money supply will be negative that means consumption and money supply has a negative effect negative association right negative uh, negative impact if consumption goes up then money supply uh, will be reacting negatively and here uh, response of uh, here is what response of consumption to money money supply here what is happening uh, if I give one standard deviation positive shock to money supply consumption will be initially positive then after three months it becomes negative again positive then after five months it will be negative that means sometime positive sometime negative right that means uh, when there is a shock in money supply then uh, co consumption sometime positive sometime negative what about the last one response of consumption to consumption that means reacting to to its own eventually eventually reacting uh, to its own one standard deviation shock to consumption the consumption will go down go down but it becomes steady it becomes steady until eight period but it has never it has not been negative in no time right it is always positive because this blue line is above this zero line what does mean by zero line so at uh, zero line means if we go up it is positive response if we go down it is negative response so in that way we can interpret the results into next eight months but of course uh, of course we can take more months but here I have taken only eight months so that is the outcomes of this impulse response function under vector error correction model